And this morning on Today's Kitchen, we're celebrating life with food. That's the message, by the way, in Nigella Lawson's latest cookbook and her brand new cooking show on the Food Network called Nigella Feasts. On the program, she'll teach you not only how to cook, but how to enjoy it all while passing along some of her entertaining and style tips. I'm all for making my life, and yours for that matter, easier. And what makes my life easier when I've got a crowd coming for supper is to buy something. I then fiddle about with it and make it into something even better. I mean, I am more than happy to buy a couple of chocolate cakes for a trifle. Once they're covered with liqueur and fruits, no one will tell the difference. And Nigella Lawson's here to prepare some comfort foods this morning from her latest cookbook called Feast. Hey, Nigella, welcome Hello, back. Hello, thank you very much. Congratulations, by the way. Last oh, time you were here, you are talking about this show somewhere on the horizon. I know, it's here it now. exists. Good for you. You I like know. it? You happy? I'm really happy. It was, it was fun. And also, this is a wonderful part. When I've done the work, I, I can't do anything now except sort of sit back. And enjoy it. Good to eat. And enjoy. You're going to make some comfort food for us, and, and I yes. think I've said this about you in the past. What I love about your cooking is nothing skimpy about it. You don't like this little kind of nouvelle cuisine. No, you I don't. You want don't. big portions. You want leftovers. <laughs> I want it all. You want it all, and I you can do. have it all. What are we making? Tell me well, about spaghetti, spaghetti alla carbonara. Uh, well, I think you can never improve on eggs and bacon, and this is eggs and bacon. But with pasta, so I've got some cubes of pancetta, which is really little teeny bits, like confetti. Are they cooking in their own fat there, or do you put something else in there? Teeny that pan? bit of extra fat, but that's also the, their kind of salty liquid. Okay. And I'm adding a little bit of wine, mm. and that will now reduce and bubble down, and it forms, it's like the savory version good. of a syrup. Uh huh. Isn't How that long are you going to cook that? Just a couple of minutes, but you've got some work to do. Do okay, you not what do you realize want me to that? Do? Mm -hmm. Can you beat these eggs, please? I sure can, all right. What am I going to add to them? I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you a bit of Parmesan cheese. Okay, we're not a great team. We spilled right off the bat. The okay. spilling is all right. We are you, a great you say team. This Don't is hurt a, my feet. No, no, you say this is a meal that you would prepare in a big bowl, take a couple of plates right into the bedroom and eat this. Yes. Why? Because it's the sort of food that is just pure pleasure. Okay. There's, you know, no chewing. It's just... You can't believe you could be this good. Okay, so you've already been cooking the spaghetti there. I have. There. I'm having a quick facial. <laughs> I had a pancetta see, facial yeah. a while ago. I know. It's all the rage, I'm told. Now, and it doesn't bother you that we got raw eggs going into this? No, because as you can see, this is hot, hot, hot. And wait a minute, patience. As always, you've got to get okay, your timing right. right. Now, would you like to dribble me a little? <laughs> uh, <laughs> You have no idea how much I need this job, right. otherwise I would have just gone okay, with that. Okay, a little more. Okay. Now, can you see, we can stop now. Right. The heat of the pasta has cooked the eggs. So that's enough. You don't have to worry about anything from those eggs no, right now. No, but I mean, I wouldn't give this to a, you know, a small child. Okay. You know, the, the, unless it was annoying me an awful lot. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Doing no, damage with but food. But you know, this is my children. I, my children adore this. And, um, I have a fork. I just want to try and taste that real quick while you're doing it. Cause you're I gonna thought move you on were to... a bit of a kind of health gym bunny, and you were going to say, ah, I can't a gym be doing bunny? <laughs> I'm a gym bunny? I don't even know what a gym bunny is, but I'm not one. See, look, now he's got a show. You see? Mm. I can mm. turn this down before I create some. That's delicious. No, okay. I even had a little come out of my mouth that's, there that's last okay. second. That's okay. I never mind that. That's okay. really delicious. And in case you don't feel there's uh, quite enough calories to make you feel all cocooned in safety. Well, don't go right to the dessert. Oh, you I want... want to know about the petit pois. Okay. Peas, I think, are the most comforting food because they're so sweet. Yeah. And this is the, the French way of cooking them, which is you chop up a lettuce. Mm -hmm. When I say chop, you know, like a bit of tearing. Right. Some bit of garlic, some butter, well, butter always helps life a bit, yeah. and some scallions, and then you cook some peas, and I'm using frozen peas. I mean, I don't mean you have to go and be podding. Right. But, frozen and you, peas in there, bit of chicken broth. And you think men like peas more than other green vegetables. I have to argue that I like broccoli. I like anything but lima beans. I like all green vegetables. You like all crunchy things, but did you have to train yourself? No, just the time I was a kid, and my no, kids pausing. like green vegetables, too. Uh, You've got a great roast chicken, chicken there, which is pure chicken. comfort food. What are these heavenly potatoes? Well, heavenly potatoes are really, a, I think they're often called funeral potatoes. It's a Mormon recipe. And I felt, if I think about comfort food, without wanting to sort of drag but it down into question. why do they call them funeral potatoes? Because they serve them at funerals, because you really, you need, you need food that really makes you feel Sustenance. sustained. So... You know, you've got, again, you've got potatoes, which you cook in a little sour cream, chopped up, bake in the oven, and that, funnily enough, 
is crumbled up cornflakes on top, and it sounds weird. Not but frosted it's flakes, delicious. just cornflakes. Not flakes. frosted. Okay. You know, even I know where to draw right. the line. Okay, all right. And then you've got dessert here. You've got yes. some vanilla ice cream with, with what kind of a toffee topping? toffee sauce. I mean, all toffee sauce is sticky, but this is what we Brits calls toffee sauce that's made with dark, dark sugar. And look who's joined us to dribble you a little bit. <laughs> I just wanted to come on with the gym bunny. You know, I, I thought you'd have carrots for the bunny. I really did. I know, but I'm very impressed that you eat green vegetables. Well done. I Thank have you. to do a reward scheme in and my And if the gym bunny that. line sticks, you're dead. <laughs> you can't have that expression Nigella here. We do now. <laughs> yeah. Nigella, good to see you. Lovely to see this you. Is delicious, oh. Nigella. Congratulations on the new Thank show and the so book, much. which is called Nigella Feasts, and it premieres this Sunday on the Food Network. If you want to try any of these recipes, you can find them on our website at today.msnbc.com.